How to install API Connect 2018 in single virtual machine. First, find our cross LTD GitHub and in that IBM API Connect repository. Clone this repository and follow the instructions. You'll see that first step is to go to the local install APIC v 2018 folder. In that folder, uh, you will have everything you need for setting up the APIC in one virtual machine. First, as you can see, you will run the vagrant up command. Here it is speed up quite a bit, four times. And as an end result, you should get a virtual machine that will have all the tools needed that will help us to actually install API Connect. We need to wait a few minutes for it to complete and then we can proceed with next steps. Next step is to actually SSH into the machine. Uh, then we can see that our kubectl is installed. Currently it cannot be connected to the server because no Kubernetes server is currently running. When in the VM itself, uh, please run make load GW, capital G, capital W, and that is from the Vagrant scripts folder. This command will load data power and uh, data power monitor images into local repository. Of course, if you have followed the instructions, you would know that you need to have all of the images available in the APIC folder in our current working folder on the host machine. Having that, uh, we can inspect the environment file and see in that, in that environment file that everything is set up. Uh, and then we are ready to actually go into the preparement phase to prepare everything uh, for APIC to be uh, running on our Kubernetes environment. So the first step of preparement phase is actually uh, setting up the Kubernetes environment. And for me, in this video, you'll see that it failed the first time with um, network is unreachable. Um, if that is case for you, just try to run this step again. Please notice that this does takes a while because uh, all of the images for Kubernetes, they need to be downloaded from the internet. So it does take um, five minutes or so. Uh, when Kubernetes uh, is uh, stood up, uh, now we will install additional tools on top of it. Uh, one of those is Tiller because we need Helm and Tiller installed so we can install API Connect. Again, here some of the parts is um, speed up for demonstration purposes. We need to install Ingress Controller as well, which you can see that is happening on the video. And um, we also need a local Docker registry so we can upload the images of API Connect using our APIC app tool. After we have our Docker registry up and running, then we will go into the upload phase where we will upload all of the API Connect images and that is um, analytics, management and portal images because we already have the data power images. So here you can see that we are currently uploading a management component
So APC app has two um, phases of uploading the images. First, first it loads the images from the zip files to the local Docker registry. And the second step is uh, pushing those images to the registry where Kubernetes will find them. In our case, we have a local running registry in Kubernetes environment. So uh, here we can see the pushing of uh, local images to that Docker registry running in Kubernetes. So we need to do this for every component. It just finished for management. Next in line is uh, analytics and it takes a while so you need to be uh, patient until this uh, finished but it is automated so there isn't uh, anything for you to do you can just inspect that this happening as it should So the, the latest or third component is portal images and we now uploading those first in local uh, docker repository and then pushing those images to the docker registry running in Kubernetes as you can see on localhost 80. As the last step, uh, the data power and data power monitor images that we loaded locally in our uh, registry, uh, they are now pushed to the remote uh, Docker registry in Kubernetes. And that said, this step of preparation of environment is finished. Uh, we can inspect now all the images that we have uh, loaded locally. We can see that we have the master node named APSC running and we can also see what uh, resources have been deployed on our Kubernetes environment. So currently we don't have APSC running there but we have the Docker registry running as well as some other components such as Ingress. Next step is to actually uh, run the make uh, work command and this will install API connect or on our uh, Kubernetes environment. So again everything has been automated. Uh, running this command you can just observe what's happening. So first we need to set up uh, our APC app uh, install uh, directory. In this case uh, my install and uh, from that directory installation will actually take took place after installation you can go into this directory and inspect uh, what files have been created there so uh, installation will um, first start with management component First management component is installed and um, for management component to run there are some init jobs that need to be completed such as uh, local user registry schema and uh, API management schema initialization jobs. So it does, it, it does take uh, quite a bit time so you need to be again patient for this to complete.
OK. Uh, management component is up and running. And the next one to install is Gateway. So Gateway um, is installed very quickly. It is just two uh, containers running there. So there is not a lot of uh, work to be done to actually set up the data power gateway running. So we already have begun with installation of API analytics component and analytics uh, component also does take a bit of time to actually uh, set up every uh, container that is uh, running as a part of analytics component. And the last component to be uh, set up is the portal component. Um, portal component should set up um, more faster than analytics component. So now everything is installed and what has been scripted is uh, also changing the default uh, password for the admin account as well setting up the topology. So you will not need to set up topology by hand. You will already have configured gateway, analytics and portal component in topology in the cloud management console. So here it is, everything is successfully completed and you can open the uh, URL that you can see on, uh, on the console and log in with admin and uh, whatever has been set as a password in the browser. As verification that everything is running, we can use kubectl get pods in namespace epic, and this should uh, result in 21 containers currently running. If we inspect the node, we can see that with current 24 gigabytes, we are pretty close to the limits with 97% uh, of usage. So we can use the browser to log in into the CMC with admin and uh, password, what has been set as a password. We can inspect the topology. You should have already configured three components. It, you should see the three components here. And also in uh, settings, what you can do is set up the data power dp1 to be default for every new catalog that has been that will be created so currently we don't have any provider organizations here but we can create one so we can name it like test and we can specify a new user Email that you specify here, it will uh, end up in our local SMTP server. So we'll use the um, uh, browser-based inbox for this local SMTP server to look up the whatever email has come to our way. This will uh, come handy when we create new portal. So now we are creating new organization. We need to, to wait a bit uh, for it is created. And now has, it has been created. So we can go ahead and open the manager interface. And in manager interface, we can log in with the user that we has have set up as a owner of this uh, new provider organization. 
we sign in with this user and here we can manage our catalogs so currently we have just sandbox catalog that will be used for development purposes and we can see that dp1 has already been set uh, as a gateway so now we can create the portal for this sandbox catalog and the message says that it will take a few minutes to complete once it completes we will get an email so here we see a mailhawk uh, browser that uh, runs on 8025 port and we already have received one email we can click on that link to activate our account on the portal and this is our first time and we need to change password for admin account so we set up the password And now our portal is functional. So let's uh, try to load one API in our new environment. So we go to the existing API and we just choose one API that we have available. So in this particular API, test API, we have uh, three parts and one is public of those. If we go to the assemble diagram we can see that uh, each of the parts or operations they have been uh, implemented with a gateway script. <laughs>